He could be days away from becoming the first former president to be indicted. And he would continue, he says, with this campaign. His lawyer is saying today that Trump will not testify before a New York grand jury. That jury is investigating Trump's alleged role in a hush money payment to Stormy Daniels to cover up that alleged affair. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who says he made the payoff at Trump's direction, did testify today before that grand jury and said Trump should be held accountable. Out front now, longtime conservative lawyer George Conway. And I do note CNN has previously reported that his wife, Kellyanne Conway, also appeared before that grand jury. So that's just for disclosure, obviously, George. I, I know you can't talk about that. But when it comes to this particular case, I know you believe it is not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. Trump is indicted. But this case has been out there for years. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this okay, was... so so how solid is it? Where are we? Well, I think it's a solid case legally and technically. It's just sort of an odd case to bring now after all these years. I think the case should have been brought on the afternoon of January 20th, 2021, when Trump's immunity expired as president. It should have been brought as a federal campaign finance law case, like kind of like the one against Sean Edwards that failed. It right. failed for other reasons, right. but it, but it's you know it was essentially it was a he made a contribution to his own campaign through a through a straw man, uh, Michael Cohen, and and it didn't disclose it, and that's that's a that's a violation of federal law. So so to talk about the timing though, Trump's lawyer Joe Tacopina talked about the case earlier, and he's obviously trying to make the point that he believes this timing is all political. Here's what he said. We are distorting laws to try and bag President Trump. I don't know what's supposed to be. He's leading all the polls. I don't know what it is, but clearly this prosecutor and this prosecutor's office has made an agenda of trying to get him. They've scoured his personal life and business life for seven years to try and find something. All right, to your point, have they done it the day after? Maybe. Does this, does Trump have a leg to stand on here? I don't think it's a legal leg. I mean, he's no. got to, he's got to actually defend the fact, the case on the merits, on the facts and on the law in court. And if they were really out to get him, they would have tried to get him on other stuff because they, they had prosecutors who were extremely competent who were willing to bring the case. And for some reason, Bra Bragg decided not to do it. Maybe he didn't want to go first. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was the Pomerantz book that, that caused him to do this now. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Or maybe there's something we don't know. I mean, there's always could be something that they found out that we don't know that changed the equation for them. I mean, we didn't know for months, for example, that that, uh, that Donald Trump was stonewalling the government and hiding documents in Mar-a-Lago until the right, search right, warrant came. Right, right, so right. We don't know. There may be something. We don't know. We don't know. Okay, so when you heard that Trump doesn't plan to testify before the grand jury, he's been given the chance. I don't think it surprised anybody that he didn't. Right. Um, but he was given the chance. If you were his lawyer, would you have advised him to testify, or did he do the right thing I, now? I, I would would advise him under no circumstances testify in any proceeding, civil or criminal, because he's he'd get destroyed on cross examination. And if you remember the first book that that uh, that Bob Woodward work about, wrote about Trump, uh, I think it was called Fear. Um, mm -hmm. he, there was there's a whole discussion about how his lawyers tried to prep him for possible appearance before Bob Mueller, and it was impossible. He would just right. he would just lose his mind, and he would he would he would start saying whoppers left and right, and he was going to open up. And, and in fact, the, the closing line in the book was uh, was was Trump's own lawyer saying, "You are an effing liar." No. So so okay so it, it, in that case you're saying you did the right thing there but yeah, obviously absolutely. you've got a lot of a lot of things here you've got Fulton County right. you've got E Jean Carroll right. you've got Stormy Daniels you've got uh, the special counsel right. which is classified documents right. Mar-a-Lago and January 6th yes. there's five um, there's also some other civil things going on yes. uh, in New York um, a former president has never been indicted on criminal charges until possibly now. Right. And it's not, and it may just not be just a one thing. It may be like a whole bunch of things, I as I just be, said. I, my, my view, I would put the over under at three. You put the over under on three. Okay, so uh, before I ask you which three, do you think that it will stop him or deter him? Is there any reason why this would impact him actually running? No. So legally, no. He legally, no. Right I mean, he can, he can run, he could be incarcerated and he could still run for president. And if he were elected, I think the better legal argument under the Constitution, under Article One, would be that they'd have to spring him. But I don't think he's going to get elected, but I do think he is going to run. I think he's going to make a big issue out of his legal troubles to right. say that he is persecuted. He's going to say they are persecuting me. He's already said it because yeah. they want to persecute you. And he's going to say, and if the violence erupts, he's going to say, it wasn't my fault. It was your fault, prosecutors. Okay, so now the three. Stormy Daniels, number one. Georgia. Georgia, Fulton County, number two. Documents. And Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago, and, and possibly January 6th. And possibly January 6th. Yeah. So not E. Jean Carroll. Oh no no, Gene, Gene, that, that's a that's not a criminal case. That's not a. That's a right. Okay, case. so you're just talking about. Okay. He's got a Criminal big problem there too.
Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, George, as always.